go. Let's go, Shake. Thank you. You know what, Shake? I bashed you last game, but thank you. It was a good game. You had a great game. You had a great comeback game, Shake Milton. But man, was this game way too close for comfort. Sixers win 132-130. Uh, they beat the Spurs, if you didn't already know. Shake Milton hits the game-winning shot with six seconds remaining. They go back down. DeRozan passes it to, J to Jakob Podol. He misses. Uh, DeJounte Murray hits the ball out of bounds. They had to review it. Sixers get the ball back. Joel Embiid knocks down the first free throw. Misses the second intentionally with four-tenths of a second left. Sixers win the game 132-130. Thanks to Shake Milton. The Sixers had a good game until the fourth quarter. They blew another lead. We were up as money as 14 points in the fourth. And then for some odd reason, Howell Neto was in the game. Now, I don't know why. Did he have an awful game? No. But he's just not good. He had eight points. He had two assists. Or no, he actually didn't. He had one assist, one rebound, and two turnovers. With eight points, he's just not good. He's a defensive liability. DeRozan, Lonnie Walker, DeJounte Murray... They were scoring all over him. Patty Mills, Rudy Gay. I mean, it was everybody. Everybody on the Spurs was scoring, especially DeRozan and Rudy Gay. DeRozan had 30. Rudy Gay, the last time I checked, had late 18, somewhere around there. But when Howell Neto was in the game, the Sixers looked bad. He was only a minus one, but that, to me, doesn't matter because watching him out on the floor... The Sixers were blowing leads. That is when they blew the lead. They were up 14. They check in Howell Neto because Ben Simmons is in foul trouble. He fouled out of this game. But Howell checks in for 11 minutes too long. When Alec Burks is playing two less minutes than Howell Neto, there's a problem to me. That's a problem. Because Alec Burks, was one. he only took one shot. He made it. And then that was it. He took him out after nine minutes. Why is it that we have so much depth, that we claim to have so much depth on this team that we're still playing Howell Neto? I mean, they picked the wrong guy to keep. Trey Burke is on Dallas. He had 31 points the other night. Howell Neto is still on this team as a defensive liability. He cannot keep playing these games. He cannot. If he's in during the playoffs, the Sixers aren't going to win. They're not. I mean, people were complaining last year about T.J. McConnell being in too much. Well, what about this guy? He has no signature shot. He flies in out of control. He's not good at passing. He can't rebound. He's not great on defense. He can't shoot. He's just a small guard that gets bodied every play. That is the main flaw that I had in this game. Well, and obviously Ben Simmons fouling out. He had a couple other things in there. But Howell Neto is what stood out to me. As why why is he in? Why is Howell Neto in with 8 minutes left in this game? With 6 minutes left in this game? It shouldn't happen. Foul trouble or not. It should be Alec Burks. It should be. I don't care. That he's not a true point guard. Alec Burks needs to be in this game other than Howell Neto. He does. Because we almost lost. And yeah, you can say, you know, when Embiid was on the court, he was a minus three, and Ben was a minus three, and Josh Richardson was a minus one, and Matisse was a minus ten. You can say that. But Howell Neto is a liability. I don't know how many times I need to say that to get my point across. But other than that, and Ben, everybody really did their role. And Bede, another good game, 27 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists. 
He did have four turnovers. But he did his job. He missed one free throw at the end. But hey, we won. Embiid, to me, was the best player. He was eating the Spurs bigs alive. He was. And that's what... This is the second game in a row where Embiid has done very well. He has. Tobias Harris also stepping up big time. 25 points, 10 of 17 from the field. 3 of 5 from 3. 6 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 steal, 1 block. He was a plus 7. He looked good. He's been looking very well since being in Orlando. From the Grizzlies game, last game he had 30. Today he has 25. He is looking good. Josh Richardson, much better game. Yeah, he was 5 of 15, but he had 19 points. He was 3 of 8 from 3, 6 of 6 from the line, 2 assists, 1 steal, 1 block, minus 1 on the game, but he had 19 points. That's a lot better than 4. Shake Milton, instead of taking 1 shot, now he took 9. He was 6 of 9 from the field, 16 points. Game-winning shot, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, only 1 turnover, and he was a plus 3. He wasn't a liability. He also played 25 minutes. Embiid, Richardson, 30 plus minutes. Horford, 31 minutes. It's the next man up, and Ben Simmons really did struggle. He fouled out. He only took 6 shots. He had 8 points, 5 assists, 2 rebounds, 2 turnovers, a steal and a block. But, again, he fouled out. Tobias Harris had five fouls. You can't foul. You can't foul when you're that good of a... And, honestly, his defense this these last two games have been eh. I get he's guarding the best player every time, but we saw what he was doing before the break. We saw what he was doing. He was locking up guys like Tatum and LeBron and Paul George and Kawhi. He was shutting them down. Now the last two games... Guys are taking it to him. DeRozan and TJ Warren, they're they're taking it to him. And he needs to work on that. He, We're not winning unless Ben Simmons, I, are okay, like he's not going to shoot. We know that. But now if he can't play defense, if his defense is even being a liability now, now we're really not going to win. Because Ben Simmons, at least when he isn't shooting, at least his defense makes up for it. And... These last two games, he's been okay on defense. He's been eh. Some may even say he's been bad. Al Horford, 9 points, 4-7 shooting, 6 rebounds, 3 steals, or 3 assists, but he was a plus 17 on the game. That's what I like to see from our 6th man. Whenever he was out, we were, we were doing good. Plus 17, that's a great game. That's a good game. I don't care that he had nine points. He's doing stuff on the defensive side. He's getting the ball in play. He's moving it around. And he's that that's why he was a plus 17. Matisse, or actually Furcon, 12 points. He had a good game. Really good from three. Three of six. Three of seven from the game. Matisse, five points. Alec Burks, three points. Neto, eight points. Still don't know why he was in. But overall, the Sixers played decent. They didn't play good. They didn't play awful except that last 10 minutes. But to me, it should not have been as close as it was. We play the Wizards next game. They do not have Bradley Bill. There is no reason to lose this game. There's none. And if we lose this game, there's a serious problem. You know, it's bad enough we let a guy score 53. It's bad enough we let a guy score 30. But who is scoring more than 30 points on that team? I mean, Thomas Bryant dropped 30 today. But on who? Miles Turner? He's not Joel Embiid. And they lost. There's no reason for us to lose this game on on Wednesday. 4 o'clock start, by the way. Eastern time. But there's no reason why we should lose to the Wizards. There's no reason why we should lose to the Suns. I think we played the Wizards twice. The Suns, the Raptors, the Rockets, and there's a couple other teams that I'm missing. I don't expect us to lose 
many more. Honestly. Maybe to the Raptors. Maybe to the Rockets. But other than that, I don't see us losing. I don't think we should lose. I think we're better. And I think we are slowly getting the rust off. Today was an okay game. It was a good finish. But man, was it nerve-wracking. Man, was this game stressful. It was. I can't say anything else. It was a stressful game. Especially in that fourth quarter. Because I knew it was coming. I felt it. And it happened. And thankfully, Shake Milton stepped up. And he knocked down a big three. Took the lead. And then we got to stop on defense. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Also, thank you all for 700 subscribers. We are at 707 now. Let's hit, try to hit 800 very soon. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I am out. Peace.